Look. Wow, what a scary situation there. We want to give you some perspective on the amount of ammonium nitrate in this Winston-Salem fire. In the Oklahoma City bombing, which took down part of the federal building, three and a half tons of ammonium nitrate was used. In the 2013 explosion of that fertilizer plant in West Texas, there could have been as much as 270 tons of ammonium nitrate. The 2020 explosion in Beirut, Lebanon, was extraordinarily large. There were 2,750 tons of ammonium nitrate. So the city of Winston-Salem says there's about 500 tons of ammonium nitrate on the property. So what exactly is being done to prevent a big explosion? CBS 17's Laura Smith has been digging deeper, wanting to get those answers for us. Laura. Yeah, certainly a nerve-wracking situation. Ammonium nitrate is a chemical used to make a wide range of products, right, including fertilizer and even explosives. The National Institute of Health says it's odorless and colorless. In Winston-Salem, city officials are worried about an explosion because of how much of it is inside the plant. So now it's all about controlling the temperature. So at about 450 degrees, ammonium nitrate becomes pretty unstable and it sort of begins to, to react and it kind of uh, uh, experiences a, a runaway exothermic reaction. Now, the assistant fire chief, I was listening in on some uh, press conference earlier, and they were saying they need to keep the temperature right below 400 degrees to try to prevent any kind of explosion. So crews are using uh, water equipment to uh, keep the area cool that's burning. So air quality is certainly a concern for this part of the state. It's at a code yellow today that's approaching unhealthy levels. That's moderate, though. It's still accepted air, but, of course, could be some issues for unusually sensitive people. The EPA is there monitoring those air quality closer to the site, Bill.